Hello everyone, I hope everyone's well and safe. Um, little change of surroundings today due to the cold weather. I've decided to do a home hit workout instead. Uh, normally, of course, we'd be doing laps around the park, in the playground. Not today. What we're going to be focusing on is building our cardiovascular endurance and our muscular endurance. So, in simple ways, making sure our heart is strong enough for the run and making sure our muscles can withstand that period. First things first though, time to get warmed up. Okay guys, so you know the first part of our warm up is the pulse raiser. So all we're going to do is three exercises just to raise the blood around our body, get them to the working muscles as quick as we can. Okay, so we're going in three, two, one. We're doing high knees. Now what we're going to do is make sure your knees are slapping out against your hands like so. And we're going to do that for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now moving on to the next exercise, which are jumping jacks. So make sure we're really exploding into that jack, okay? So, hands out wide, hands in like so, and then we're coming wide. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now next one we're going to be doing is our heel flicks. So I want hands at the bottom of your back and you're going to bring your heels up to touch your hands like so. So we're going in 3, 2, 1, doing that for 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Having a 5 second rest. Making sure your heart is working hard and beating fast. And we're going to go over and do it again. Here we go. So, going into high knees. God, look, I'm out of breath already. Going into high knees again for 10 seconds this time, okay? So we're going hands out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're into jumping jacks in three, two, one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're back into heel flicks, our hands at the back, bottom of your back, and we're doing that for ten seconds. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, that should be our pulse raiser done. What I want you to do is just a double check, feel your heart there. See if it's beating fast, or if not, feel the pulse underneath your neck or on your wrist and see if your pulse is beating fast. If it's beating fast, that means we've done the first part of our warm up. Next part of our warm up is to make sure that we get rid of all, well, not all, preventing ourselves, sorry, that's the word, preventing ourselves from getting any sort of little injuries. Okay, so now we're going to be doing some stretching. It's going to be two simple stretches because we're working on that lower body. So the first stretch is what we're going to do is lunge out, bring your knee down, okay, and sort of want you to push forward with your leg. So you can have hands on your knee if so, and pushing forward. So open up that hip flexor here, sort of lengthening out the quadricep. So pushing it forward, okay, and then we're going to change leg. So again, same purpose, hands on the thigh, pushing it forward. Good. Now, what we're going to be looking into is a hamstring stretch. So what we're going to do on your knees, have one leg out. And I want you to go towards your toe and try and hold your toe out for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change your leg. Like so. Stretching out, hold, hold on to your toe for 10 seconds. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you can't reach your toe, that doesn't matter. You could go as long as you're as long as you're making sure you make going for that reach, and you feel a stretch at the at the behind your leg. Okay. So that is our warm up done. Time for the hip workout. We so I'm just going to model you the first one, and then we'll start from there. Okay. So the first exercise. It's going to be ice skaters, let me just take a step back, okay? And what we're going to be doing is making sure we jump, so it's going to be like a leap across and land it on one foot, so like that, bang. And what I want you to do is focus on that balance and that landing. Take your time, like so. That will be the first exercise, 30 seconds. Oh, make sure you don't do it on that, because you could slip over. So we're going to be starting in three, two, oh, turn the light. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Now remember, coming across, focusing on that landing, bringing your leg across for that balancing, looking like an ice skater. As quick as you can, go at a good pace, just rep it out, doesn't matter. Keep going, focus on that balancing. If you can want to go quicker, go quicker, doesn't matter. Making sure you are balancing though. Focusing on that land. Now we're resting up. So the next exercise, what we're going to be doing is squatting. So make sure your chest is up, back is straight, squatting in between your heels, like so. Make sure you are on your heels. I don't want you on your toes like that. I want you on your heels. So, we're going to wrap out our squats. Squat it now. Here we go. Now, if you find this a little bit too easy, you can add a jump in and then go into it again. But I'm just going to be squatting myself. Like so. Remember, chest up, back straight, knees over the feet. Okay, and the next exercise, what we're going to be doing is going into some mountain climbers. So, when we're going through with it, you can take your time, go as quick as you can, but bring in your knees almost to your chest. Okay? So, we're going two, one, bringing those knees into your chest. If you want to make it a bit difficult, Go across, try and get your knees to your elbows. If not, keep going towards your chest. Oh. And the next exercise is climbing the ladder. So this one, we're gonna be doing bilateral movements. So moving mu muscles at the same time almost. So I want you to imagine you're climbing a ladder, jogging on the spot, reaching for each step. So we're going now, 30 seconds. If you want, bring your knees up high. Go quicker. Bringing up your knees higher and reaching for every Step of the ladder. Good work, guys. This time I brought Matt out for this one. So we're going to sit ups. It's quite comfortable for your back. But for this one, you'll be lying on the floor, knees up. What we're going to do is arms all the way back, come up and hug your knees. Okay, going down, coming up, hugging your knees. Going down, hugging your knees. Down, up, hugging your knees. Now, if you find this a bit too easy, 
might be worth coming across and pushing against the side, like so. If not, just come up and hug your knees. Two, one. Now remember, coming across, focusing on that landing, bring your leg across for that balancing, looking like an ice skater. As quick as you can, go at a good pace, just rep it out, doesn't matter. Keep going, focus on that balancing. If you can want to go quicker, go quicker, doesn't matter. Making sure you are balancing though. Focusing on that land, Now we're resting up. So the next exercise, what we're we'll gonna be doing is squatting. So make sure your chest is up, back is straight, squatting in between your heels, like so. Make sure you are on your heels. I don't want you on your toes like that, I want you on your heels. So we're gonna wrap out our squats. Squatting out, here we go. Now, if you find this a little bit too easy, you can add a jump in and then go into it again. But I'm just gonna, be squatting myself, like so. Remember, chest up, back straight, knees over the feet. Okay, and the next exercise, what we're gonna be doing is going into some mountain climbing. So, when we're going through with it, you can take your time, go as quick as you can, but bringing your knees almost to your chest, okay? So we're going two, one, bringing those knees into your chest. If you want to make it a bit difficult, go across, try and get your knees to your elbows. If not, keep going towards your chest. And the next exercise is climbing the ladder. So this one, we're gonna be doing bilateral movements. So moving mu muscles at the same time almost. So I want you to imagine you're climbing a ladder. Jogging on the spot, reaching for each step. So we're going now, 30 seconds. If you want, bring your knees up high. Go quicker. Bringing up your knees higher and reaching for every step of the ladder. Good work, guys. This time I brought Matt out for this one. So we're going to sit ups. It's quite comfortable for your back. But for this one, you'll be lying on the floor, knees up. What we do is arms all the way back, come up and hug your knees. Okay? Going down, coming up, hugging your knees. Going down, hugging your knees. Down, up, hug your knees. Now, if you find this a bit too easy, it might be worth coming across and pushing against the side, like so. If not, just come up and hug your knees. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that workout. Get yourself a drink, you've earned it. What we're gonna go do now is to go through our cool down. Now the importance of a cool down is to make sure that we regulate our body, calm it down. Okay, because what's going through now is probably a lot of adrenaline, a lot of blood pumping around. And what we're gonna try and do is slow our heart rate down and just relax a little bit. So what we're gonna do is just, just stretch out our muscles, try and prevent ourselves from getting any injuries. So what we're gonna do first is, we're just gonna stretch out our hamstrings like so. So we're gonna go, I want your toe facing up, and what you're gonna do is just touch your toe for 10 seconds. 
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you've got to change leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we're going to stretch our quadricep now. If, you can, if you've got extremely good balance, and can stand on one foot like so. If not, hold on to your ear, or well, it's absolutely fine, hold on to a wall somewhere in your house. But making sure we're stretching out that quadricep at the front of the thigh. For 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change the leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Have a little bit of a shake off. And what we're going to do is stretch out our shoulders as we were using them during the planks. And especially when we're working through our core, we're using involuntary a lot of muscles that you don't think you might have been using, but you were using. So what we're going to do is stretch out our back like so. So bring your hands forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up in the air. Oh, sorry about that. Three, two, one. And behind your back like so. Stretching out our chest now. Five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, that is the workout done. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Looking forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.